I did have her in bed. She told me I had the biggest dick she ever felt. I told her she was pulling my leg. <laughs> my girlfriend just recently died and I uh, met her parents for the first time at the funeral. What a pair of miserable bastards. Okay. <laughs> Oh man, it's just good to be here. When I was walking here, I saw some guy, I, I don't get to the city much, he was a homeless guy, he had a three-legged dog, and he had a sign that said, help me, I'm starving. I said, he can't be starving, he didn't even finish eating the fucking dog. <laughs> you know, uh, I'll tell you, it's, it's just amazing how... Uh, it is to stand in front of a group like you. I mean, I, I enjoy this. Um, I'm 60 years old. I'm not getting any younger. And uh, you know, I was going to actually move. I was going to. I was going to move to Smithereens. I don't know anything about it, but I heard everyone gets blown there. So, <laughs> but I decided to stay in New York. You know, <laughs> you know I, I went dancing. Uh, you know, the other day, and I was the hit of the fucking dance floor. They played the twist, and I twisted. They played jump, and I jumped. They played come on Eileen, they kicked my motherfucking ass out. <laughs> I actually went up to some girl at the bar, I had no rap. I said to her, you know, you remind me of my little toe. And she said, why, because I'm small and cute? I said, no, I'm gonna be banging you against my coffee table in about two hours. <laughs> I took my two kids to uh, Hershey Park, my five-year-old son and my eight-year-old son. And I walked up to the ball of fire behind the uh, desk and I pointed to the kids and I go, I hope the porn is disabled. He told me it's regular porn, you sick fuck. <laughs> I was in the shower with my, you know, I was in my shower. My five-year-old son came in and I knew the awkward questions were going to start. How come your penis is so much longer and fatter than mine? All my kid could do was shrug his shoulders and say, I don't know. Man. <laughs> Anyways, I had trouble getting to sleep last night. You know, it's always, it's always uh, rough, you know. Uh, you know, before a show, I, I try to relax. I put on a movie. Uh, it was about these six guys. They were carrying a coffin around the cemetery. I fell asleep for about an hour and a half. When I woke up, it was the same six guys carrying the same coffin around the same cemetery. I said to myself, I don't think this movie has a fucking plot. <laughs> oh. But, 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 I did fall asleep. I dreamt I was a muffler. When I woke up, I was exhausted. <laughs> I was making breakfast when the doorbell rang. It was Jehovah's Witness. So I invited him in, gave him a cup of coffee, bagel. I said, why don't you tell me what this Jehovah Witness stuff is about? He said he really didn't know he never got this far. <laughs> well, anyways, I guess my time is expiring. Thank you very much. A great crowd. Give everybody else a good hand. I still want to go by him in the alley though. You know what I'm saying? That's a scary mother. Scary. That's a, you know, unless he, you know, if he don't speak, I won't walk through that. If he speaks, maybe I might, you know, run around him real quick. That's about it. You know, big man, boy, I'll tell you. But a beautiful heart. Put your hands together, everyone.